from the battles in China, there's no rest for the best in the world as they pick up their rackets again in Tokyo in their quest to win badminton's premier competition. This is the BWF Super Series. Welcome to our BWF Highlights show for 2011. Back just seven days after the China Super Series in Changzhou, which was dominated by China, winning four of the five categories of competition. But could they keep their momentum as the circuit moves to Tokyo, the location of the next Super Series tournament of the year, the Japan Open? For all those keeping track, it's week 38 of the badminton calendar, and this, the eighth Super Series event for 2011, had a special feel to it for both the players and fans, as it was the 30th anniversary of the Japan Open, this time held at the beautiful Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. As with the China Open and all these Super Series events, the stakes are high. The prize money in Tokyo was 200,000 US dollars for the players. Those precious world ranking points obviously available in conjunction with that purse. Remember, only the top players with the most accrued points will make the end of season grand finale that this year will be held in Lijiao, China in mid-December. The fans were hoping for another classic Lin Dan vs Chong Wei final in the men's singles. Of course, with both in attendance and the head-to-head -head stat between them standing at 16-8 for the Olympic champion Super Dan. We'll tell you what happened a little later on in addition to the women's singles, mixed in women's doubles and the men's doubles, which is where we start. Malaysia and Indonesia occupied four of the eight quarterfinal spots for Friday's play with two pairs each, Ken Ket, Tan Bun Hyong and Go Lim from Malaysia joining Asan Septano and Kido Setiawan from Indonesia. The Koreans of Ko Lee and the Chinese pairs of Liu Xu and Cha Yun Hai Feng took the others and it would be the China Open winners to make the semis with both Indonesian pairs and Ken Ket and Tan Bun Hyong. From an all-Indonesian semi-final, Arsan Septano created an upset when they defeated Olympic and Asian Games champions Marquis Kido and Hendra Setia won 15-21, 21-16, 21-18, while the unstoppable pairing of Chayun and Haifeng faced the Malaysians of Kian Ket and Boon Hyong, who have still to win a title in 2011 and were looking for their first final since the All-England. They wouldn't find it here, as the Chinese duo beat them in 3, 21-17, 19-21, 21-19. So Fu Hai Fang, the left-hander, leads out the doubles finalist, his partner Kai Yun. And the Indonesians, Mohamed Hassan and Bona Septimo. For the Indonesians, their second appearance in a final here at the Japan Open. Beaten finalists three years ago in 2008 when they lost out to Lars Borsko and Jonas Rasmussen of Denmark. How you deserve to Bona Septano. Love all, play. So the defending champions, nearest to us. Service over. One, first love. point on the board to the Indonesians. This is the third meeting between these two pairs. Previous two occasions have both been won by the world champions from China. One, all. Last time they met was in the first round of the All England Championships last year. So 18 months ago. Three games on that occasion. For the Indonesians, of course, bronze medalists from the recent One. World Championships. Oh, terrific attacking play by the Indonesian. Great 
great attacking play. And finally, get their reward. Super. 15, 11. That's long. First time of asking, 21-13. Oh, good defence. Oh, my goodness. Don't believe it. Oh my goodness, how are they getting it back? What a rally again. to attack. Unbelievable. Oh, sensational! He holds his head. He knows the missed opportunity could be very, very costly. Well, will it be third time lucky? Third match point opportunity. have retained the title that they won last year. Well, it was their first final of the year. Second time, so, that they've reached the final of the Japan Open. First did so three years ago, but for Kai Yun and Fu Haifang, of China retain the title that they won last year. Finals day it's been. What a week it's been here in Tokyo. In the men's doubles, Chai Yun Fu Haifeng have amassed vast amounts of experience and used every bit of it to defeat Indonesia's Mohamed Hassan and Bono Septano in straight games. The Indonesians were chasing their first Super Series crown, but found the world champions too hot to handle and fell 21-13, 23-21. That makes it three wins for the Chinese pair in a little over four months, as they conquered all in June, winning the Singapore and Indonesian Opens. And when you consider that the Super Series calendar took a two-month break to allow for the world championships in London, which they also won, it is a truly amazing run of form to kick off the second half of the season, which was only broken by the Koreans of Lee Yong Dae and Jun Jae Sung, who won seven days before this tournament in China, who, you guessed it, had to beat Chai Yun and Hai Feng in the final.
So much more to come on our BWF Highlight Show. Surprises in the women's singles draw as the dark horses from Europe stole the show. And with Lindan and Li Chong Wei both fully fit, the possibility of another classic final in the men's singles. But before we get there, we move from the men's doubles and we focus now on the women's doubles event, which treated the world a week ago to the rise of a new pairing, the world junior champions of Xia and Jinhua, who beat world champions Wang Zhaoli and Yang Yu to claim their first ever Super Series title. And such is the immense pool of talent that China has in this category that it was another sensation that the fans witnessed. Amazingly, just the one Chinese pairing who made the quarterfinals here, the youngsters of Bao and Zhong, and they would also make the last four. Of the two Japanese pairings to make the last eight, again it was Fuji Kakiwa to progress, along with Chinese Taipei's Cheng and Chen, who beat the Koreans of Um and Zhang in straight games. They would face Poon and Si from Hong Kong, who eliminated the Danes of Pedersen and Ritter with a rubber set 21-11, 21-21, 15-21. No troubles for the Taipei pair of Cheng and Chen in the other semi-final as they beat the Hong Kong duo of Poon and Si 21-17, 21-16, which left all eyes on Fuji and Kakiwa in their second consecutive semi-final against another young Chinese pairing. They were bested in China by eventual champions Ya and Jinhua, and this time the All England and India Open finals were beaten by Bao and Zhong, who came back from a game down to win 21-17, 22-24, 15-21. So here come the finalists of the women's doubles, led out by Chen Yu Chin and her partner Chen Wen Sing. They're up against Bao Yi Sin and Shong Xian Sin. The youngsters from China, my goodness, what a tournament they've had. They've been giant killers all the way. They put out three seeded pairs, including the number two seeds and three seeds from Japan. Japanese opponents in both those matches had match points. And the Japanese fans' hearts were broken as the Japanese players failed to convert. <laughs> Chinese Taipei. Zhong Chenxin to serve. Chen Wenxin. Love all play. Well, the number five seeds, Chen Wenxing and Chen Yu Chin from Taipei, trying to make history today, Taipei trying to become the first ever winners love. from their country of a title here at the Japan Open. Two. Oh, it's perfect placement. In between the two Chinese 17. players, both 17. of them hesitating. She snatched at that. She's just not as confident as her partner at the front of the court. Sean sees Xian Sin. So game points, seven of them. Oh, just needed the one. That's a marvellous shot. I'm not sure they can see a way back. I'm not sure they have the belief. Now that will certainly help their cause advantage and looking very much as if they're going to take this title. That's a good serve. Well left. Makes such a difference Ten, when you've got a good 18. low serve. Oh. 
extraordinary story this has been all week with this young pair from China. from China who throughout the tournament have saved a grand total of eight match points. They had to save two match points in today's final in the second game but came through eventually 13-21, 25-23, 21-12 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 17 minutes. Bao Yixin and Zhong Shanxin were worthy winners of the title as they had to beat four seeded pairs, including Japan's top three partnerships during the week. They started the tournament by beating second seeds Miyuki Maeda and Satoko Suetsana of Japan in the opening round in straight games, and followed that up with another straight games victory over Holland's Lotte Jonathans and Paulian van Doromelen in the second round. In the quarterfinals, Japanese six seeds Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Naito had two match points but squandered the opportunities as they lost in three games. Third seeds Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kiwa also had the girls on the ropes but failed to make good their four match points to clinch the match. As such, it came as no surprise to the fans when Bao and Zhong once again found their backs to the walls against former world number ones Wen Sing and Yu Chin in the final. But their calmness under pressure paid dividends and they continued their amazing run to claim the title. Still plenty to come on this BWF Highlights show and up next Europe showed their class in the mixed doubles and made it all the way to final Sunday. Who would they face? Find out with us in just a bit. Welcome back to our BWF Highlights show for 2011. Time to check in with the mixed doubles draw, which over the course of the season so far has been equally ruled by world champions Zhang Nan, Zhao Yunlei and Zhu Chen Ma Jin from China and Indonesia's Liliana Natsia and Tantawi Ahmad with two titles apiece. Ma Jin has the extra accolade of three titles as she won the inaugural Malaysia Open, but with a different partner, Hei Han Bin. But it would be a different story in Japan. In the preceding China Open, the crowds witnessed a great run by the Indian pairing of Diju and Guta who couldn't repeat the feat in Tokyo. But the fans saw another surprise run here, this time from the German pair of Fuchs and Michels, who made it an all-European semi-final when they faced the Danes of Nielsen and Pedersen, who beat Sato and Matsuo of Japan in straight games in the quarters. The other semi featured Chinese Taipei's Cheng and Chen against the world champions Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Both semi-finals in the mixed doubles needed rubber sets to decide their outcomes. In the other semi-final, world champions Zhao Yunlei and Zhang Nan were sensationally ousted by Cheng and Chen of Taipei 21-19, 24-22, 21-17. While in an all-European semi, the 2009 Denmark Open champions of Joachim Fischer and Christina Pedersen made their first final of the 2011 season by ending the fabulous run of the Germans of Michael Fuchs and Birgit Mikkels 18-21. 21-7, 21-19. Now a three-point advantage for the Danes and three points away from a place in the final. Oh, great defence. Oh! 
Well, this is just getting better and better. Second match point has been saved by the Germans. And this time, third time lucky. As far as Jorkum Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson are concerned, what a marathon match. And the Danes once again are in the final. So to our next final, it is mixed doubles Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing. Chen Wen Sing, of course, in her second final of the day, the number five seeds up against the Danes, the beaten finalists from two years ago, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson, the number four seeds this year. Chen Fung Ling to serve to Nielsen. Love all. So the mixed doubles final here at the 30th Yonix Japan Open. The number four seeds from Denmark, York and Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen up against the number five seeds Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei. That's uh, a great interception. We saw that in the women's doubles, didn't we? Chen Wen Sing, absolutely brilliant at the net. Uh, good anticipation from Peterson. And this time they convert the number five seeds, Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei have taken the opening game 21-19. We saw in the women's doubles she actually served forehand action rather than backhand. Good placement of the smash. Oh, such a good rally. Brilliant badminton. serve. So, Only hey. needed the one opportunity. But that is a big question mark. 11, <coughs> 7, play. Good serve. Ah. They snatched at that, did well, your confession, Nielsen. The Danes absolutely yelling at each other. Come on! Now, just the one. It is six match points for Cheng Hun Ling and Shen Wen Sing of Taipei. Hand serve. No pretense about what was coming. Oh. 
Well, that's the first opportunity squandered. This time, and the number five seeds Chen Hunling and Chen Wen-sing of Chinese Taipei in their fifth final in international competition finally take their first ever title it is the onyx japan open yes. super Hold series on. title Definitely. and there is how they did it 21 19 16 21 21 15 in the deciding game well, the second time here at the Japan Open that York and Fisher Nielsen and Christina Peterson have to settle for second best, repeating the feat of two years ago. But for the first time within their partnership, Chen Hunling and Chen Wen Sing stand on top of the podium. Their first ever title. A nice one to win the 30th anniversary of the Onyx Japan Open. Missing out on winning her first OSIM BWF World Super Series title with Yu Chin in the women's doubles from the tightest of games against the Chinese youngsters of Bao and Zhong made Wen Sing even more determined to make amends in the mixed doubles, and she did. Playing against two-time Super Series winners Fisher Nielsen and Pedersen, the Taipei pair took the first game 21-19, but then all looked to be at sea, as they totally fell apart in the second to lose 21-16. With all to play for in the decider, Wen Sing and Hung Ling up the pace to carve out a 21-15 victory to claim their country's first ever mixed doubles Super Series title. They can add the gold here to their title from the Subirman Cup earlier in the year, along with their runner-up medals from the Canada Open and the US Open Grand Prix Gold. Next up on our BWF Highlights show, the iron grip of the three wangs in women's singles was finally broken and in spectacular fashion and led to a surprise final. All the details and more coming right up in just a few moments. You're back on our BWF Highlights show and we are with the women's singles tournament that many have said is simply a three-way battle this year between Wang Shixian, Wang Yihan and Wang Xin. But with strong performances in the last few Super Series events from the likes of Denmark's Tina Born, Germany's Julianne Schenk and with the return to fitness of Saina Newal, some look to this Japan Open as being a possible turning point. And they were right. There were some surprises in the women's draw as Wang Qixian's quest for back-to-back -back titles after winning in China came to an abrupt end in the quarterfinals, falling to Julian Sheng. Wang Xin had already fallen in the second round to Chinese Taipei's Tai Tai, whose own run was stopped by Liu Jin. No problems for Wang Yihan, who she would meet in the semis, while Julian Sheng would face India's Saina Newal in the last four. But while two of China's Wangs had a torrid time in Japan, the third, Yi Han, had the easiest semi of all as she was treated to a walkover over her countrywoman, Yu Zin. She would face the winner of this match, which many expected Sanya Newal to win due to her experience of being one of the few non-Chinese players in the top 10 world rankings. But nothing could stop Julianne Schenk this week. A regular at the quarterfinal stage in recent tournaments, this time she made it to the final, edging Sina in the first 21-19 and then forcing a 21-10 in the second for the win. That's why two. And now, Mikey. World Championship bronze yeah. medalist from Germany, just two points away from a place in the final. Now just the one point required 
My goodness, what a performance. Oh, Only needed great. the one match point opportunity from a tall. She was outstanding. 13 of the next 15 points went the Germans' way. And the victory, 21-19, 21-10. So the two-time former champion, the current world champion, Wang Yihan of China, against 28-year-old Juliana Schenk of Germany. Wang Yihan to serve. Level play. So the final of the women's singles and is history in the making. Yeah. Germany have never Wang. won a title Wang. here at the Yonex Japan Open, but Juliana Schenk has that opportunity in this women's singles final. Tall order though against the current world champion, world number one and two-time former champion here. Service over. Missed it. And in fact, closing the gap. 11, 13. Ah! Oh. Well, how many net Sun cords Silver. has Wang Yi Han had in these, 16, this opening game? 14. Oh, no, overdone it. It's gone wide. Play. Just overdone it. Six match points. Ah! Only needed the one. We've had three finals, three titles going to China. Wang Yihan, the number one seed, the world number one, has taken her third Yonex Japan Open title to the ad to the ones won in 2008 and 2009. Wang Yihan was just the better player. A third Japan Open title for Wang Yihan. A fifth title of the year. When this lady turns it on, there are very few who can stop her. Wang Yihan outplayed Germany's Julianne Schenk, who maybe felt some nerves as she was playing in her first Super Series final. The eight-seeded European, who upset second seed Wang Shixian of China in the quarterfinals and fourth seed Indian Saina Newal in the semis, simply ran out of steam in the title decider to lose 21-16, 21-14. It's a third title in 2011 for Wang Yihan, 
who came out on top of the Korea Open Super Series Premier and Indonesia Open Super Series Premier, tying her with All England champion Wang Xixian, who won in Malaysia, England and China. World number three Wang Jin is now falling behind as a result with just the Singapore Open title to her name. That makes it seven of eight Super Series events won by the three girls, with just Thailand's Pontip Burana Prasertsek, who won the India Open in April, to break that fabulous run of results. We're not done yet on our BWF Highlights show. Chen Long showed his true worth in the China Masters seven days ago and was looking in good shape for back-to-back -back titles in Tokyo. Find out how he fared in just a bit. This is the BWF Highlights show for 2011 at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gym for the Japan Super Series that boasted a full complement of men's singles players, meaning a possible 25th meeting between Lee Chongwei and Lin Dan could happen again. Chongwei especially was looking for a good performance here, having skipped the China Open just to prepare for his trip to Tokyo. The semi-final draw for the men's singles was every fan's dream with Lee Chongwei, Peter Gate and Lin Dan joined by the hottest player of late, Chen Long, fresh from his superb win in China just seven days before this tournament. Of the four, only Peter Gade and Chen Long came through the quarters in straight games against Simon Santoso and Jan Jorgensen respectively, while Li Chongwei and Lin Dan needed rubber sets in their wins against Kenichi Tago and Chen Jin. But as we have seen a number of times this season, the Lin Dan story was stopped and not by another player. Chen Long was ready after his win in China, but received a walkover in the semi-finals as world champion Lin Dan couldn't play after the skin on his left foot came off after a tough match against Chen Jin. He would face world number one Li Chong Wei, who showed his deft touch and sizzling power against his old nemesis Peter Gade, winning 21-13, 21-16 to make his sixth final of eight this year, four of which he's won. You feel so much more intense about the game so much more desperate to try and do well. And that's it. Yay! The defending champion secures the victory over the former champion. 21-13, 21-16. The defending champion going for his third Japan Open title up against the Chinese number four seed Chin Long. A little bit of controversy yesterday when Chin Long was awarded a walkover. No question, there's more the Malaysian support here in Tokyo. Lovo. So the world number one defending champion nearest to us getting this men's singles final underway. This the sixth meeting between these two players. In the previous five, Service Lee one. Chong Wei no. has won the last four. The only time this man has won was in the first round of them. Indian Grand Prix gold event back in 2009. It was three games on that occasion. And since then, Lee Chong Wei always won in straight games. Oh, what a net shot. Twenty-one eight confirms the umpire, and I have to say I'm a little stunned. Terrific. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Lee Chong, wow. <laughs> Dive for one there. He thought it was going to be a winner. Suddenly realised his opponent had got it back. Look, he's just watching it. Thinks it's going to be a winner. Whoops, it's coming back. Up he gets. Waits, waits, waits. And after that, immediately played a smash. Yeah. Only needed the one. 21 10, the second game. 11 ready. So this three-point advantage in the third game in favour of Lee Chong-Wei. Going for his third title here at the Yonex Japan Open. Missed it. is getting to everyone. Nineteen all. Oh. Well, there was hesitation in the early stages of that rally from Lee Chong Wei. Congratulated by head coach. So Peter Lee returns to and the winner also wins U Papa Music Sync, the world's first music synchronized massage for neck and shoulder. Chen Long's stunning defeat of Chong Wei made all the headlines as it was the 22-year-old's first victory over the Malaysian since beating him at the India Open in 2009 when Chong Wei was stricken by food poisoning. Since then, the world number one has beaten Chen Long on four separate occasions and many had expected him to collect his seventh title of the year after wins in the Super Series Masters Finals in Taiwan, Malaysia Open, All England, India Open, Malaysia Open Grand Prix Gold and Indonesia Open. But the Chinese ace had other ideas. He dominated the first game with some stunning smashes to win it 21-8, only to see Chong Wei hit back to take the second game 21-10. The decider could have gone either way, but it was Chen Long who held his nerve, coming back from 19-18 down to win it 21-19, and in the result, win back-to-back -back OSIM BWF World Super Series titles for the first time in his career. So China the big winners again grabbing four of the five titles for the second straight week. At the China Open it was world junior champions 
Juan Xiao Jin Wo upset the odds to win, while this time it was Bao and Zhong who triumphed in Tokyo. The other winners were world champions Wang Yihan in the women's singles and Chai Yun Hai Feng in the men's doubles, with their first title since winning gold at the World Championships. Taipei's Chen and Cheng, the non-Chinese winners this time, taking the mixed doubles final. Well past the halfway mark of the 13 event season and as the prize money gets distributed and the points allocated for this the 8th stop on the tour, the players will be happy for a mini break of almost a month before another two back-to-back -back Super Series events at the end of October and on the other side of the world in Europe for the Danish and French Opens. Hong Kong is next after that and then a return to China for event number 12 to close out the regular season. The Super Series Masters Finals will end the year in Lijiao, China, which I'm sure the Chinese players are looking forward to, having been so strong on home ground this year. Still plenty of badminton to be played before then, and we will be there every step of the way. That's all for now, but remember to catch all the best action and more on your BWF Highlights Show 2011. For now, goodbye.